my channel or if you're new here welcome to your new favorite place on the internet my name is Bella and I have so many things that I want to talk to you guys about and that's why I'm like going like my brain is just really really fast at the moment and I'm trying to say everything that I'm thinking but like so many thoughts are overlapping I don't know how I survive on a day-to-day -day basis living like this but um that's why I decided to start this reading vlog because there's just so many things that I want to share with you guys I'm an oversharer, unfortunately and there are so many good things happening to me at the moment and I want to share it with you guys. So I hope you're excited for this reading vlog because I sure am. We're reading some really incredible books. I do have like this new package that I don't know what's inside of it. So I really want to open it. Maybe that's the first thing that we're going to do. Okay, let's do that. And then I also have, oh my God, wait, maybe I should start with this because like, okay, listen. Um, okay. Whoa. Let's calm down everybody. Let's take a deep breath. Okay. That did not help. <laughs> This is the first thing that I want to show you guys. I don't know if you know this about me. You must. Like, I, I show this so much in my reading vlogs that it's, like, obvious. The fact that I, like, love writing or, like, typing on my keyboards, especially just, like, I just love the feel of it. It feels incredible. It feels amazing. And I've had the same mechanical keyboard for years now, and it's kind of, like, it's not giving anymore. And then recently, oh, my God, like, you just, okay, I'm just going to show it to you because these keyboards are like my new bread and butter they have honestly changed my life every single time that i use them it scratches an itch in my brain that i didn't even know that i had until the moment that it was scratched listen okay this is like a highlight of my life at the moment these keyboards are from a brand that's called iq uniques and they recently made a collaboration with the little prince i also don't know if you know this about me but i love the little prince um i've watched so many different movie adaptations about it i've of course read the original novel not in french because i don't know how to read french but i have read it and i just adore it so obviously when i saw these i was like this is literally the perfect product for me so i did do an unboxing i will insert that here right now just because i need you guys to see how gorgeous these keyboards are and not only the keyboards but like the packaging in itself it's gorgeous and i couldn't get over how many things it comes with and just how like i was honestly so shocked when i got these because they are everything that i didn't know i needed and oh my god wait until you hear what they sound like like i wish you guys could feel what it feels like to type in these keyboards because it's literally undescribable words fail me to describe the feeling that i get when i use these keyboards and i'm just like honestly obsessed with every single feature that this keyboard has the moment i've been waiting for honestly um it's we need to see how this sounds okay so let's just all right, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Let's do it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> like, it's giving, you know what I mean? It's giving so hard. It's just, oh my god, it's, what's that word? It's scratching my brain just right. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is gonna make me so productive, I just know it. Oh my god, like... I'm trying to be so silent about this, but I can't. I literally cannot be silent about my love for this. Oh my god, it's gorgeous! Can you guys, oh my goodness. Oh my God, shut up. That is mesmerizing actually. I never wanna stop. Anyways, this key switch is called Silent Rose. So it's definitely not gonna make as much noise as the other one. Oh my God, this is so, oh exactly. Oh, exactly. Okay, so let's see how it sounds. 
Yeah, it's completely different. I mean, basically what's making the noise is my nails. Oh my god, I'm like, ugh. I'm so disgusted by how beautiful this is. It's just crazy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just really wanted to share this with you guys because I know I'm not the only mechanical keyboard enthusiast out in the world. And I just know that some of you are going to absolutely die over these keyboards just like I did. So I'm so grateful that I actually have like an affiliate link that you guys can use. And I also have a code. Like if this is something that you want in your life or if you're like me and you need this in your life, the link is going to be down below if you're interested. And I'm just so incredibly grateful that I have the opportunity to like have these and be able to share this with you guys because I'm genuinely so in love with them. Thank you so much to IQNix for sending these to me and like trusting me with these because I don't know like oh my goodness like I opened these with my sister the first time and I literally had to pry the keyboard off her hands because she wanted them for herself and I was like baby girl get your own like these are mine I'm so sorry like I haven't been able to stop thinking about them and honestly like it's so weird but I feel like now that I have these new keyboards I just feel like I'm being a lot more productive because I really want to use these keyboards so I keep finding different things to do just to have an excuse to use them it's very silly of me but it's like a great way to trick myself into being productive and enjoying the things that i have to get done so i don't know like yeah i just wanted to share it with you guys because like i'm obsessed and i need to share everything that i'm obsessed with because that's the only way that i know how to survive <laughs> like if i'm not talking about every single thing that's passing through my mind i feel like i'm not being honest with you guys so there we go just really wanted to share that with you guys and next up we actually have a package to open i literally forgot to take this off my hair anyways the thing is i think i mentioned it in a couple of videos past or was it in a patreon vlog i don't know but like i recently not recently like a month ago <laughs> no it was february 14th so like yeah a month ago i got a haircut and i'm like not 100 obsessed with it and it's like a little bit awkward because i i have like I don't know why I'm talking about this, but the thing is I'm just not really used to it and sometimes my hair gets in my face and I'm like, can you not? Like sometimes, I feel like this is a very worldly experience. I'm obviously not the only person who has gone through this or has thought this, but like especially if you have long hair, do you ever get those moments where you're like, I could totally go bald right now? <laughs> Am I the only person who's like sometimes Maybe being bald is the best choice for me because the maintenance of my hair, not that I do that much to my hair anyways, but just like having to brush it every single day. Oh my God, it's just very tedious, but whatever. These are just like random intrusive thoughts that I get from time to time. Like maybe I should cut my own hair. This is like a very nice insight into how my brain works. Don't, I don't know. This is not ringing any bells. Obviously I've mentioned this again in a couple of videos. I'm currently doing or like I'm currently on a book buying ban, so I haven't bought any books. And that's how it's going to stay for a while because I actually gave myself a goal. And if I don't reach that goal, I can't buy any more books. So I need, me tengo que poner a pila, básicamente. Anyways, okay, this is from Crow. Crow is a very lovely Patreon. He has, yeah, he's a very special Patreon. So apparently he sent me a gift and it says, I saw your video about the number of series that you're currently reading and while I love 38, I think that 39 is even better. Crow, Mr. Crow, what are you thinking? You know, this is actually, this is the biggest book. Actually, this is the same size as the Berserk um, Deluxe Edition. But like, what is this? Good sir, what is going on? I'm scared. Okay, you guys can see it before me. This is heavy. What? Is this Vinland Saga? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't even know this existed. Like this edition. This is actually insane. Espera, déjame quitar el plástico. Okay. 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 Oh, stop. Let me go. Okay. Oh my god. Ay, espérate. Please. Okay. The inspiration. Espérate, okay. 
amid okay <laughs> sorry okay 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 shut up okay <laughs> Amid the chaos of the Viking War for dominance over England, a boy has everything taken from him and vows revenge, but violent dreams bring no peace. The inspiration for the hit anime streaming now on Netflix, over 650 pages of manga in a premium collector's package. This oversized collection includes volumes 1 through 3 of the Japanese edition of Villain Saga, as well as bonus content. Okay, alright. This is... Crow, you the man that you are. Oh my god, are you right? Like, are you guys seeing this? This is actually insane. Let me see. Oh my goodness, wait, the way exactly. Yep, I don't remember his name. Is it Thor? Something with th? Is it here? Thorfinn. Oh my god, I was so close. So, yeah, I have seen the first season. I think I watched the first two seasons of Vinland Saga and I really really enjoyed it like the the animation style and just the story itself is very intriguing and it's just very entertaining I love how I felt when I was watching it and now I have the first three volumes in this premium deluxe edition this is I am oh my god look at those colors though <gasps> Oh, I'm in love. Oh my god. Oh, that's a very... <laughs> I didn't realize what he was doing. I was just kind of looking at the colors, but that's a very... That's a very kindergarten friendly type of picture. Oh my goodness. 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 Crow. Mr. Crow. You did not absolutely have to do this whatsoever, but I am so incredibly happy that you did. Holy crap on a cracker. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, just like the feel of it as well. Oh, this is so luxurious. I think that's the same word I used when I first got Berserk. I'm a little bit shocked, not gonna lie. I was not expecting this at all. <sighs> Villain Saga by Makoto Yukimura. The first three volumes. Oh my crap, this is huge. This is ginormous, but I am so incredibly excited. Crow, thank you. I mean, I've, I've said it already, but thank you so much. I am so happy to have this. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, thank you. Oh my God, okay. Ooh, just, of course, of course, for sure. Mm-hmm, yep. Totally. Oh my god. I feel like I also did this when I was opening Berserk. That's so... I'm literally so... What's that word when you can tell what she's gonna do before she does it? I'm so... What you are so... That word, you know, when like you know what someone's gonna do. You're so... Eh, que es obvio. You're so... Eh. Oh my god, it's like in the tip of my tongue. You're so... Does it start with P? Bridget? No. You're so perpendicular? No. You're so... Loca, amor de loca. You're so. You're so. No, I. You're. You know what? This just ruined my entire lifetime. So I'm gonna go. Actually, I'm not gonna go, but that's gonna. That's just ruined my entire day. I don't know what word I'm thinking. Like, I do know the word, and I feel like it starts with a P, but I can't think of it, and that's ruining my life. So, um. If you know what word I'm talking about, please leave it in the comments below because I'm really struggling right now. You are so... You know what? Let's move on because I'm going to lose my mind. I moved because, you know, I was just... Like, I stopped filming just so that I, I, you know, I could give myself some time to think of the word that I'm trying to think of. But, you know, a couple of minutes passed not even three minutes and i gave up because i can't think of the word and it's honestly like genuinely affecting the quality of my life you are so oh god why can't i think of this word i literally used it the other day this is the struggles of being bilingual um or english not being your first language and i hate this for me i truly do anyways 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 i'm fine i'm over it let's move on to better things because I can't let this ruin my day. 
Um, but just know that with every sentence that I'm speaking, I am thinking in the back of my mind, what is that word? <laughs> so just know that I'm currently being haunted by myself. Anyways, let's talk about my current reads because I'm actually doing pretty great. I've been reading some really incredible books. I've also been reading a bunch of One Piece and I've just, I don't know, like I love my currently reading list. I love all of the books that I've been surrounding myself with. The most recent book that I finished, I can't reach it. Amigo, I can't reach it. I'm so sorry. How, I feel like if I jump, that's just going to, okay. The book that I most recently finished was Percy Jackson and the Olympians. The Chalice of the Gods. I finished it on some Patreon reading sprints that I was doing earlier on in the week and I loved it. Amiga, por favor. <laughs> no me hagas esa vaina. Okay. This is the most recent book that I finished on some reading sprints that I was doing with my Patreons and I loved it. Okay. Like I was kind of scared that, you know, with these three new books, to be added to the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. I was kind of scared that I wasn't going to hit the same. I was kind of scared that it was gonna feel weird or the characters were just not, like, I don't know. Because obviously when you add more books to a series that has already been completed, there's like this fear of, oh, is it going to feel different? Are they going to ruin what they created in the first books of this series? But honestly, I should have never doubted Uncle Rick because he knows what he's doing. I loved being back in this world. It was like a mixture of nostalgia with new memories being made. And I loved seeing Percy and Annabeth and Grover and these new side quests or like not even side quests but like main quests that we have to go through and I love that the stakes aren't as high like this just feels silly goofy but like in the best way possible and it's just Percy doing his best to get recommendation letters from gods so that he can get into the same college as Annabeth and obviously like this man he's doing the absolute most just so that he can go to college with his girlfriend Percy Jackson the man that you are the boy that you are I, I adore him and he is the standard Percy Jackson is the standard and I love that we just get to see him just interacting with new characters both new and old I love seeing his relationship with Perk not Perkabeth I love seeing his relationship with Annabeth and I don't it's just everything okay this is everything i don't have that many annotations but most of the annotations that i have are either moments that i loved or really funny comments which obviously it's how it usually goes with percy jackson books because uncle rick and his humor it's just perfect get the niño get the niño percy is such a simp for um annabeth and i just have like some really nice annotations um i also used an emoji. I really want to start doing that now. These are some of the emojis that are on my Discord server and I use them so much when I'm speaking that sometimes it even feels weird when I'm not on Discord and I don't have these emojis to use because I don't know how to properly express myself without these emojis anymore. So I've been using them for my annotations now because yeah, I just, I need them to communicate what I'm truly feeling. Also the brain, the one piece brain rot is so real because there's this, I feel like I say this in every single video, but there's this one scene where Annabeth says, check it out. Loca, que estupida. Okay. Yeah. Annabeth says, check it out. And I, I recently finished watching Wano with my, not my Sunny, with Sunny. And the only thing that I, like I immediately thought of Apu, which is this one character in One Piece. And that's like his, like that's his phrase that he always says. And it's so annoying, but he says it in a very specific way. He somehow manages to slip in an R in the middle of that phrase. And it's just so annoying. I hate it. But as soon as I read Check It Out, I read it in his voice. Like he is so annoying. And I hate that his voice is now constantly in my head. And when I read Check It Out, I was like, oh my God, it's a poo. I don't know why it is the way that it is, but whenever I reread Percy, it never feels like, oh, I would have loved this when I was younger or these jokes are a little bit outdated, but like I see what he was doing. Like it always feels I don't know, it feels modern, it feels like it's always going to be funny and because the type of humor that Uncle Rick uses is just very como que you can relate to it no matter what age you are. He was like the painting in that story about the guy who never ages but his portrait does, Earl Grey. <laughs> like, are you kidding? This is so funny. 
Maybe my sense of humor is just broken, but I just, I love it so much. <sighs> Any future that had us in it was a future I wanted to live through. Are you kidding? I am not well. I am not well. But anyways, I finished Percy Jackson, um, The Chalice of the Gods, and I loved it. I'm so excited to continue. Like, I'm so excited to see what he's going to come out with next. I know that the second book in this new series is coming out in September of this year. So that's something to look forward to. And then apart from Percy Jackson, I've also been reading this classic book. Um, I've been reading it for a while. I think I started it like March 7 or like at the beginning, the first week of March, I started this. I haven't read as much as I wanted to read, but I'm also really enjoying just taking my sweet time with this book. I don't really want to rush to read this. I want to pick it up whenever I'm in the mood for it. I don't want to feel like, oh, I need to finish this by a certain time. I'm just enjoying it, you know, taking it day by day. Today, I want to read 20 pages of East of Eden. That's great. Today, I want to read five chapters of East of Eden. That's amazing. And again, I've just been really enjoying this new approach to reading that I've been trying to do in 2024 where... I'm not really focusing on the quantity of the books that I'm reading. I mean, I don't think I ever really did that. Like, I wasn't really that hyper aware of how many books I was reading. But I, I did put this, um, what's this word? Like, subconscious pressure on myself that if I started a book in a month, I had to finish it in said month. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to put it in my monthly wrap up. So now that I've let go of that stupid, illogical pressure, I feel like I'm enjoying reading a lot more. And I can just, you know, I don't have to necessarily be reading five books at the same time. I can just read one book and take my sweet time with it. And I'm just loving it. So I've been reading East of Eden by John Steinbeck. As you can see, I have been enjoying it. I have a bunch of annotations. And I just love spending time with these characters. I love getting to know more about their lives and just seeing the things that they are doing to each other. It's a very interesting story because not much is going on in terms of plot, but it's more like following the journeys of these characters and seeing their lives and just seeing them grow up and seeing them learn life lessons the hard way sometimes and exploring the relationships between these two brothers or a man and a woman. I'm just having such a wonderful time exploring this story and this world and these characters and I am currently on page 244. I have like these tabs at the top of the book and it's not really daily goals obviously because they're so far apart but they are like the beginning of different parts so the part that i'm closest to right now is part three and then the next one would be part four so yeah it's just like you know i just like knowing where different parts start and end it's like yeah i just like knowing it it feels great so this is what i've been mainly focusing on but whenever I'm not feeling in the mood for a classic, because obviously it does take a lot more brain power to read a classic, even though this is actually pretty accessible and it's not that hard to read through, but like you do need to be in a certain mood, or at least I feel like I need to be in a certain mood to read East of Eden. So when I'm not in that specific mood, I do have this other book that I started this morning actually, and it's Happy Place by Emily Henry. So can you not focus on Jujutsu Kaisen right now? <laughs> it's, it's Happy Place? It's Happy Place by Emily Henry. And I actually read this last year for my, like with my Patreons. I do have an entire reading vlog about it. This is the one Emily Henry book that I was expecting a lot more from and I didn't actually love it as much as I did. But then the more time that passed, I was like, maybe I wasn't in the right headspace for this book. And maybe if I reread it and I go into it with an open mind, no expectations, just accepting whatever it is that Emily Henry wanted to give us with this book, maybe I'll enjoy it even more. So that's what I'm doing. I am giving this book a second chance. I kind of want to see if I'll enjoy it because I'm definitely in a different headspace than I was when I first read this book. So I just wanna see if I was the problem. I'm usually not. 
<laughs> like I'm usually not the problem, but maybe this time around I was. So far, I'm on page 26. Again, I started it this morning, so I haven't read that much but I'm at the beginning of chapter four. I know what's gonna happen. I know these characters, but it's kind of nice to reread this book or like revisit this book and give it a second chance because you never know what you might find along the way. And of course it is Emily Henry, like her writing, I, I love how she sees the world and I love how she describes it. So obviously I'm really enjoying the writing and you know how she creates these characters that feel very human and they feel really real so let's just see i will be updating you guys on my experience at this second time around of reading happy place but yeah somebody's calling me i have to go a few moments later you are so not me starting to think about that word again you are so you are so why do I keep thinking perpendicular? I, okay, I've, I've even used it to describe books that feel really pre pre predict pre oh, You're so predictable. Is that the word that I'm looking for? You're so predictable. The way that I don't even remember why I was looking for this word. What were we even talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very all over the place at the moment, but let me see. Oh my God, my coffee. This is going to be so cold, but I want to try it and just see just in case maybe it's not cold. It's gonna be so cold. <laughs> you know, I love iced coffee. Um, <laughs> anyways, before I go, because I'm obviously making a fool out of myself at this point. I mean, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun. But as you can see, I'm like a little bit all over the place, which I'm okay with because like, this is real. This is me. <laughs> I did want to give you another update. I know it's not like, it's not a reading update. It's just kind of a random update you may or may not have seen this journal in a couple of my reading vlogs this is a three-year journal that came in the Addie LaRue special edition box of Owl Crate and basically it's like I really hope that doesn't say anything <laughs> incriminating but anyways it's just every single day of the year and you have three little boxes and you can put like a small entry of your day and you can do that for three consecutive years and I loved doing this, like finishing a day and being able to just sit down and write how my day went or how I felt or like any highlights of that day. And then as the years went by, I could just read through it and I started adding pictures. I started adding post-its when the day was just too good and it didn't fit in the little box that they gave me. And this was like one of my favorite rituals. Like I loved ending my day like this. And unfortunately, the last day of this journal is, well, the last year of this journal is 2023. And it's 2023. What is this? Girl, I have been scouring the internet for a new three year journal or like a yearly journal. And it's been hard, but I, ugh, I just love this. But, anyways, I struggled really hard to find. Um, a substitute for this and I eventually found my way to this one and this is a five-year journal or five-year diary so this is how it looks without the case it's very simple it's very gorgeous I love the gold foiling and just like the black cloth bound booklet and it's just like really it's just nice okay it's really nice the very first thing that i wrote was started the year feeling hopeful but also scared and apprehensive my one wish for this year is to be able to walk without any pain to laugh more than i did last year and to love stop i did try and use this but i realized that um the entry because obviously it's like five years in this cute little journal the entries are really tiny and obviously I'm used to a lot more space. So it was really hard to condense all of my days into these tiny little blocks. So I kind of gave up on it because I was like, it's just not, it's not what I really wanted. And I kept trying to find like different alternatives, like maybe a three year journal with more space. But every time that I ordered one, they refunded it because apparently they hate the Dominican Republic. So yeah, I really struggled. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go back to journaling on my notion where I can literally write pages and pages and I'm never going to run out of space. But then <laughs> this morning I woke up and I felt the need to just like flip through this journal and reminisce about the old days. Um, the old days being literally like last year. Wait, today is March 
28. Let's see what I was doing. You see, that's what I love to do. Just like see how this March 28 compares to two years ago, March 28. Like what was I doing? How was I feeling? Maybe this is like a new challenge where I just have to learn to write down the most important bits of the day or like I need to learn how to properly summarize a day. I have a lot of catching up to do because I haven't been using it daily but I have been writing a couple of entries just trying to catch up and it feels great. It just feels really good. I don't know, this is very random but I really wanted to share this with you guys because I don't know, it just made me really happy. So I just really love sharing the things that make me happy with you guys because I feel like we need to share more of the things that make us happy. There's so much going around on the internet. It's so loud sometimes and it's so noisy. And I feel like no matter how silly or no matter how goofy, a thing may be, if it makes you happy, it could make others happy. So what's the harm in sharing? To whoever needed a reminder that sometimes it's the little things that make us truly happy, there you go. This is your cute little reminder. And I mean, feel free to share down some of the things that make you guys happy. It doesn't have to be this huge, life-changing event it can just be like i love waking up to the smell of coffee i love seeing the sun shine on my bookshelves i love holding the hands of someone i love like just things that make us feel alive i'm getting so poetic it's probably because i've had caffeine and i'm reading a love book a love book a romance book and i've just been reminiscing about my life so i'm gonna go before i declare my undying love for you but i hope you're having a wonderful time whenever you're seeing this i hope that you stay around and yeah i love you <laughs>
the anime that I really wanted to start because everybody has been recommending it to me. It's a sign of affection. It's only 12 episodes, unfortunately. Like the manga is still ongoing and I think I'm going to be reading the manga because my friend Sunny, she like absolutely adores it. And she says that the manga is better. From what she's seen of the anime, she says that the manga is better. And obviously there's more content in the manga. So I unfortunately finished watching a sign of affection. Um, it's literally like I didn't even know I didn't even know that I was going to love it as much as I did But oh my god, it's such a beautiful anime It's about this girl and she is hard of hearing And we're basically following her and her life and her world When she suddenly meets this guy that is just otherworldly And she immediately falls in love with him And you know I'm not a big fan of insta love But it doesn't feel like that in this anime like the way that they write about it the way that they describe it the way that they portray it it's just so beautiful and it's so relatable like for sure i've been like her like we all have been a little bit like that main character it's just such it's like so cute and like every time that they would do something my heart would hurt like i would physically i would have a physical reaction at what was happening on the anime because it was just so good like this like it has been so long since i last watched like a romance centered anime and i had forgotten that i actually like adore them so i think i'm gonna go on like um a romance anime rabbit hole because i need more of that um a sign of affection five out of five stars what can i say i'm a simp for romance animes so if you guys have any recommendations that of animes that feel like a sign of affection please leave them down below i am on my knees begging for some good recommendations some good food um because i didn't realize how deprived i was of romance animes until i saw a sign of affection so yeah i'm like i need more i need more sorry i feel like that's the only update that i can give you guys right now because obviously i've been spending my time with my five year journal. I made it to the 13th of March. So I still have like a couple of days, five, six, I have 15 days left to update, which is a lot, but I need, I need, I need a break because my hands are cramping. Yeah, like this was just a very quick, silly update for you guys. I hope you're still enjoying the vlog. And is there anything else that I want to tell you guys? I don't know. I feel like that's it. Should I show you guys? <laughs> Should I show you guys more of the puzzle? Like, because I actually found quite a couple of combinations. I did find quite a couple of little combinations. And I do have like these combinations here as well. I'm telling you, this is just like... <laughs> I have no idea how to go about this, but like whenever I find a new combination, it just makes me so stupidly happy. So hey, it's working for me. It's bringing me joy. It's bringing me happiness. It's a hobby and it's going to take time, but I'm okay with, you know, taking my time with it. I'm not mad at that at all. Um, and yeah, I guess, I guess I'm going to go now. I love you guys so much. We'll talk later. <laughs> that just says do not bend obviously i have not bent it so like we're good on that front but i thought that i would open it on camera with you guys because as per usual i have no idea what this is so this is just very mysterious so apparently it's an artwork okay this is so well taken care of I really appreciate this. Okay, this is just like the packing slip. It doesn't really says who it's from. What is this? Oh my god, this is Luffy. Shut up. Shut up. This is Luffy. Oh my god.
my goodness, that's adorable. Okay, so this is Luffy, obviously. Uh, this is like an artwork. I don't know who, what, like nobody. Oh my goodness, this is, I hate it. Like, no, like, I don't hate the artwork. I hate the fact that I don't know who sent this to me, so I don't know who to thank. Oh my god, this is going to look so good in my wall. Shut up. I have so many questions and not enough answers. Oh my goodness. Okay, I really hope that whoever sent this to me is watching this vlog because otherwise I have no idea how to explain or like how to let you know that I loved this. Oh my god, I love it. Like the art style, the colors, the colors. Can we talk about the colors? Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Speaking of One Piece, I actually have been doing a lot of reading because a certain someone <laughs> has challenged me to finish Wano by a certain time period, which is the end of this week. And I, yeah, I decided to take on that challenge. So I've been doing a lot of reading. I've basically read like maybe 60 or 70 chapters in the span of like five days something insane like that for real i'm like i've gone insane and i'm okay with this i'm basically almost done with wano because like in the manga in the manga edition because in the anime i already finished wano but in the manga i'm still like before this challenge was put forward i was still in zo or zoo zo yeah i was still in the elephant so yeah i've been i've been reading quite a lot ever since Ever since I was challenged, I'm officially in volume 102 of One Piece. So I have officially read 100 volumes of One Piece and each volume has 10 chapters. So that means 100 times 10. I've read 1000 chapters, maybe even more honestly. I've read a thousand and something chapters of One Piece, which is honestly just insane to me, but I'm having the time of my life. So I just thought I would share that with you guys because obviously, one Piece has once again become such a big part of my life. A vlog of Throne of Pages would not be complete without a mention of One Piece at this point. So there we go. That's how I'm doing in my One Piece journey. I'm really, really excited because apparently Wano ends in volume 105. And since I'm in volume 102, I'm only missing three more volumes to finish or like achieve or succeed in this challenge. So. I mean, I, I just love proving people wrong. The helicopter agrees, obviously. I just love proving people wrong and I love it when I'm right because that usually is always. So yeah, I've just been having such a great time reading One Piece and I've also been doing some other things. But for now, I think I'm gonna go do some exercise because I've been sitting in this chair for a very long time. But I really wanted to open this with you guys because I had no idea what it was and it was just sitting there in my desk and I was like, I need to open this now. So yeah, I'm gonna do some exercise now, but I really wanted to show this to you guys. <laughs>
hi so i know i did a bookshelf tour i think was it at the mm, at the end of february or like a couple of weeks ago but i've already done a couple of changes just because looking back on that video and then with a couple of suggestions that you guys actually left in the comments i just thought i could still like keep doing some work on it so this is the first change that i did i just kind of switched up the classics shelves because i wasn't like 100 percent convinced on them so i did a couple of stacking here and there just to make it seem a little bit more dynamic i actually do like how this looks a little bit better just because beforehand it just looked a little bit, um, I don't know, it just, it didn't fit what I, my vision. So I think the stacks really helped it out. And obviously I can fit a lot more classics now whenever I have more, I guess. And then the second classic shelf, I also made it a little bit more dynamic by adding this stack of the paper mill editions and putting the picture of Dorian Gray, the cloth bound edition on display just because it's one of my favorite classics and it's one of my favorite editions. It, I feel like it needed a special place. So there we go. And obviously War and Peace on display. <laughs> this wouldn't be a Throne of Pages bookshelf if War and Peace wasn't on display. I do like how my classic shelves are looking a lot more than they did before. Beforehand, so I thought I would share them with you guys because you never know how the smallest changes can have the biggest impact and There you go. And then the other change that I did I just switched out the book that I had on display because I found out a couple of things from or like about the author from tomorrow times three and I just didn't feel like having that type of author or that type of work on display and anyways, I do love the bell jar a lot more than I love tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and this is a gorgeous cover and I feel like it goes even better with all of the tabs because it's such a colorful cover it just stands out and I love it so this was a great decision as well and then the other change that I did is on this shelf which is yet like I'm again <laughs> not 100% convinced but I just kind of rearranged a little bit how the books were I did still keep all of the genres together, but I did put a book on display again just to add a little bit of dynamicy or just like, no, I don't think that's a word. I just wanted to make it look more dynamic. And obviously since I changed the classic shelf, the skull didn't fit anymore. So I did have to find a new home for it, but it's fine. Like it's here, it's working, it's giving. So the other change is actually not a change, but an addition to my one piece shelf. And that is, the thousand sunny so this is actually something <laughs> that took like it took a while because it comes in pieces oh my god i should have recorded it but it basically comes in pieces and you have to build it yourself and that's what we did that's literally what we did um you have to have a lot of patience you have to have a lot of love but honestly, it's worth it 1000%. I love just looking at it from time to time. It makes me so happy. And it's always going to remind me of that night. So it's great. It's amazing. And I wanted to share it with you guys. Those are all of the changes that I've done to my bookshelf ever since my bookshelf tour. And I really wanted to share them with you guys because, you know, it's little changes, but I feel like my bookshelves look different. So of course I wanted to share that. Look at the outside of my screen, but not my screen, my window. Um, it's because I was looking at my screens and I got confused. But anyways, yeah, there we go. This is it. What are we doing? I need to stop filming. Goodbye. Hey, wow. Jimmy, you nice. Keep going.